Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is the third and last episode for the night and my voice is kind of broken by coughing, coughing, coughing. Uh, I'm still uh, trying to complete my medications and I'm taking a lot of medications, try to get better. I mean, I'm taking the cough syrup, but you know, I'm not getting 100% okay. So some of you asking, where have I been? You know, I, why am I showing the face? I don't look good. You know, I don't feel personally, you know, <laughs> very cheerful to face the camera. In maybe a week or so hopefully keep in your prayers so uh, a couple of days back i think two days back i put a question in my group fraccom bangladesh uh, which is officially my group facebook group uh, for bangladesh and for international crowd and we also have few other premises like uh, marketplace uh, my decan page okay uh, i asked in fraccom hey guys what do you think of wood do you really buy this out of hype or you really like wood or do you think it's wearable in our condition okay like our condition when i talk about our condition it's going to be very different than your condition and uh, what do i mean by it our bangladesh a uh, lovely country beautiful uh, land and uh, beautiful people food culture but the weather is not very kind to us okay it hasn't been uh, even the winters nowadays are not so good we get extreme high heat you know it's like 42 degrees celsius if you do not know how to do uh reading for the that sort of temperature uh try to you know convert fahrenheit to uh degree to fahrenheit celsius to fahrenheit sorry and we have high heat humidity and also we have uv exposure on top top of that we have a lot of noise and then you know uh, air conditioning cars smoke dust pollution so it becomes very difficult for me to suggest food based perfumes for bangladesh but i did review a lot of food based for fragrances for winter so i think this episode i'll try to do this okay i'll try to put some fragrances which i think are the, they got the name oud but they are not really a skanky oud or uh, animalic barnier sort of oud these are very wearable very nice perfumes and i really like wearing them and these are some fragrances i really like okay so my scent of the night very quickly is lanuit the older batch of 2014 and here we go first fragrance i'm going to show you you can try these um i'm not saying blind by worthy but there are plenty more i have but i'm just showing you this 15 today okay first fragrance i'm going to show you today is aigna number one oud this fragrance i got like maybe last year or so i really like the way the bottle looks it's very beautiful pretty bottle very premium with that leather on the neck and the bottle is very dark i think the juice is also dark i don't know but this fragrance it's really good oud fragrance okay um it is sweet it's not again uh, eastern or sorry middle eastern oud it got the sweetness price tag is good this smells actually very fantastic it has quite of uh, quite a few notes as well check out my review you'll understand i highly recommend this fragrance if you are on a budget and looking for a good 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 oud based fragrance Aigna number one oud let's keep it there at the far end okay because you need to make space for 15. number 14 let me show you a favorite of mine it's a beast it's amber it's raspberry it has a lot of other notes uh, but also i think got oud this is now getting hard to find and prices are going high this is called 24 gold uh, by sense story uh, let me show you side by side which i enjoy also called uh, uh, 24 gold oud edition both are great but the push from this is just exceptional the oud one you can also get but i think the original 24 gold sense story a very beast mode fragrance for winter and i actually enjoy wearing this a lot check it out uh beast mode perfume from 24 uh, sense story sorry it's an niche house next one uh, this is also affordable uh, but it's gonna be cheaper than that 24 gold okay this is my favorite fragrance it's called arm of niche oud many people say there's no oud in this i don't know when this one feels very sweet uh, and then you know like rich smelling perfume and it smells more expensive than what it actually you know comes for okay and i reviewed this i think i was the first one to review this on youtube uh, i would dare say so i get sort of like amber kind of like a date note very uh, lovely cozy uh winter once again night time it's a very beautiful fragrance to wear i enjoy wearing this because it got the name oud perhaps there's no oud in there i don't care i like arm of niche oud let's keep it there next one all of them actually has the name of oud more or less some of them don't next one is gonna be perialis oud black vanilla absolute so all these fragrances you understand one thing they're not just oud there's so many other things going on this one has a rose i think vanilla 
and it smells like one of the Guerlain's. Uh, forgot Spiritus de Bouvigny or what was the fragrance, man? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe Angelique Noir. I forgot. So this one has a rose, very beautiful, sweet fragrance. You can get this or you can get uh, Eau de Missons Cologne. That is also good. But this one, very rich, dark and getting hard to find. And this is getting expensive too. I would highly recommend this fragrance. If you like to get Oud, Perialis is absolute best creation. Perialis Oud, Black Vanilla, absolute. Next one, high quality juice, high quality bottle. At first, I thought I would put this one, Luminous Night from this house, but no. Luminous Night for me has the more date focus. This one is the Oud oriented kind of release. This one was super hyped when I started my journey 2015 14 i was seeing reviewers like sort of worshiping it almost okay because they love the one but that time mark said this was super rare to get it was middle eastern exclusive uh, really heavy cap compared to the other ones and the bottle was exclusive and it's more expensive so this one has a note of oud also got date and stuff sweet uh, sexy uh, spicy masculine fragrance and i think the oud in this is absolutely wearable Dolce and Gamada one uh, royal knights so we have 10 left. Let's go. Let's so we see some Mansara. This is called Mansara Gold Intensive Oud. So this one I got from a brother, I think almost full partial. This one has uh, less oud, more sweetness. This is fruity, it's jammy rose, man. This is so lovely. If you actually ever liked fragrances like uh, So Blue by Mansara, same rose note depth like there. Very pleasant, very sweet beast mode longevity okay this one has oud but the focus also on sweet fruits and rose as well gold intensity out check out my review it is a nuclear projector number nine let's go hugo boss bottle oud this one they claim they use real oud in there uh, for me uh nah <laughs> i i do not think so i had this fragrance sample for uh, three to four years i used to carry it around i had a couple of samples when i used to visit bangladesh I used to bring it with me in the airport and i would mostly get okay performance from this in winter but summertime it died so what this is this is kind of like a spicy uh, apple with that little bit of a uh, woody touch to it on the top of it it's more spice on the original boss bottle and i think this fragrance has the woody notes a lot more so spicy woody so it's not really wood to me it doesn't feel like wood but it's spicy apple very beautiful perfume and very masculine very high-end and this is also more expensive i absolutely enjoy that hugo boss bottle would get a bottle before this one uh, goes missing in action next one let's show you afnan supremacy in oud this perfume i adore this there are two from this when they release this one and then afnan afnan not supremacy not only intense that is a beast mode a uh, best clone of aventus this one is clones i think put for greatness okay so uh wood for greatness for me was way too overpriced for what it was just for the house name this one on the other hand is does the same thing performance absolute beast nobody talks about this because this one they think oh this is the same juice as wood for greatness and better okay it lasts project if you go three to four sprays people will look at you okay absolute love supremacy wood uh, afnan very nice presentation a little bit more expensive but worth the money Next one, let's go this way. Let's go Kalimat Black by, I think Arabian Oud. This one, I do have a vintage batch. Uh, let me get that to show you the color juice, juice color difference. Yeah, I love doing these things because, you know, when I show you, then you understand what are the differences. If I put this next to my old batch and the new batch, you see the color difference between the juice. Check that out. This is super dark and I have about 20, 25 mil. You know, I, I hardly reach for it. This is so much mature, more chocolatey, more beast mode. This is also good, fruity, wearable kind of a version of Kalimat. I have Kalimat, but I like this one more. So Kalimat Black, it's a westernized sort of a, a lovable kind of oud, wearable oud. I think this one has amber and it got some Middle Eastern touch. Very beautiful presentation. Definitely one of my favorite oud category fragrance. Kalimat Black. Uh, let's show you number six. Then we hit top five. Number six is this gucci okay some of you may be wondering why this is so high up in the order over all these perfumes actually i'll tell you one thing they have gucci guilty femme sorry gucci guilty femme yeah i think so and this one and there's one more i'll show you in a bit these are very high quality this one got i think blackberry or something like that 
is very fruity got rose and the wood in this is just absolutely wearable it's just gucci's i don't know why they made this under this line this one deserves a whole new line definitely highly recommend it that's why it's so high up in the order you pay more money but you get good quality good performance also gucci guilty wood so uh, let's move it a little bit here so now we have top five top five according to my taste only okay it doesn't have to be yours number five is versace of noir this is more expensive just like the boss bottle line this one it's more expensive versace get a tester get a tester version of it and absolutely you'll enjoy it i think this is as good as number one or tom for oud wood such good quality fragrance very long lasting one of the best if not the best versace perfume okay this is a spicy masculine fragrance kind of like a dreamy uh, I think one of the crown jewels of Versace. It's a must collection item, okay? Versace of Noir. And this is definitely bought back, back a bottle worthy. So, uh, man, I'm running out of space. Sorry. <laughs> Next one, it's again one of the best designer fragrance I bought in my journey. Armani Stronger with You, Oud. Stunning bottle. It's not really uh, readily available everywhere. It's not a fragrance you can buy like every corner or every shop. <coughs> Sorry yeah sorry that throat disturbs a lot so you cannot find this really available but i'll tell you one thing this fragrance you can uh, pre-order and you will actually love it if you like this one you'll also like the leather i think the amber i'm waiting for it to reach my country i'll buy it they go 100 something 150 dollars it's worth the money i'm telling you that good beautiful creation beautiful longevity and very wearable stronger with you wood by armani <laughs> number three montal wood amazing I have a story of this fragrance i think i'll review it i'll tell you the story again this fragrance it's one of my dream come true fragrances true fragrances okay why i truly believe this is the best montel has to offer when you look for performance all the montels last but in terms of smell gourmandish vibe chocolatey vibe and man the rose this fragrance is something else it's from the heavens okay i'll i cannot tell you how much i love this okay this is so much perfection in a bottle i think you should buy this fragrance if you find it somewhere or at least give it a try there's a new version but uh, all one new one all perform great montal wood amazing definitely a fragrance worthy of collection number two oh man i'm running out of space okay let's create a little bit more space okay so number two i have the other gucci i was talking about this one some of you will say it's not worthy of buying at this price point anymore it's obviously gucci intense wood this one it's really expensive this one reaches uh, niche pricing right now it's around around 200 dollars under and that price point i don't think is worth it but i'll tell you still if you like black afghano you like this it's really really good it's really lovely at first you think it's not really good performer the new batches it does and check out the bottle it's really really gorgeous it got a uh, signature of gucci everywhere heavy bottle absolute love rating very highly today gucci uh, intense oud leads me to number one number one today if you know me already you guys will know that this is a easy choice for me and this fragrance by right you know i have one more fragrance from ysl but i did not include it today which is m7 wood absolute that is a great juice but today i'm showing you number one is creed's royal wood if you don't have this fragrance man you're missing out on something great uh, some of you say creed is not worth the price tag i absolutely respect that there are clones of it you can buy but if you can save up your money if you can buy only one creed i would suggest this one okay in future if this one ever get discontinued i would say you will pay three four hundred like dollars you know for this fragrance i'm telling you like or more like nearly thousand dollars perhaps right because it's that good royal wood smells like like class okay pure class you know this one i cannot find any other uh, like there are many other creeds i did review i haven't found a one that one i love more than this okay this is the highest of creeds plus okay and i think that's the fragrance list for today you can try this 15 you can see the theme is all dark and all regal and that's how they smell very rich and i think wood with this kind of quality is wearable but when it comes to like barnier sort of wood smoky wood or like real agar wood or like uh Silety wood or some of the you know the more got the skin to it like malaysian or cambodian uh some of the woods are wearable some of them i think in our condition are very difficult to pull off but these ones you can take a look okay thank you so much and thank you so much for all your uh you know response and feedback on the group take care good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye